We are in the Jiefeng Bay area and we're going to attend a matchmaking event just a few hundred meters away in People's Park. She didn't give up this bright prize. And just to make sure nothing gets out of hand, Lucky is coming with us today. Do you want to say hi? Now, statistics show that there are over 100 million single women of marriageable age in China. And the marriage rate has really tumbled from a peak around 2013, when there were over 13 million couples who tied the knot. And this declined year by year, all the way down to 2022, when there were under 7 million couples that got married. Of course, there are many socio-economic factors involved in this. One of them is the sheer financial pressure of getting married and raising a family. And now we've come to this beautiful location called People's Park. This was actually the first park to officially open in the city. Every Saturday morning from 9am till noon, they have this event called Matchmaking Corner. And I expect down there we're going to see a lot of parents who are looking for potential partners for their sons and daughters. Now, a lot of these women might have masters and PhDs. Uh, they have careers that earn them a lot of money and they also own perhaps their own um, apartments or their own vehicles. Now, in the case of men, I don't think they have a big problem marrying a woman who is less well-educated or financially well-off as long as they have youth on their side. So in a moment, we're going to go down here. We're going to meet some of the parents perhaps some of the uh, the younger people who are looking for marriage partners uh, directly. Now just walking through the park here, you can get an idea just how many people are looking for marriage partners. Secondly, you also notice that a lot of the young people are not looking for suitors by themselves, but rather it's their parents. A little printout, and it has all of the personal information. We have a unmarried lady, born in 94, 47 kilograms. Uh, she is like a kindergarten teacher. I can tell you there are so many people here, it's very difficult to kind of push your way through. We've met uh, with a local guy here, and I think he's looking for a potential suitor here. Chen Zaida. So we have a nice auntie over here, and her daughter is a English teacher at one of the universities. Yo 那年轻人一般信不信这个？年轻人信啊，信啊，信啊。You can check your birth dates in this little book here with the yin yang symbol, and they can basically calculate how suitable you are as a couple. There's a lady standing right here, and she's looking for a local who's aged between 30 and 36. 那你对对象有哪些要求呢？ 要求有三房一厅对我好，会赚钱，会照顾我就可以了。男朋友在于我身边都是女性，没有这样的男性交际圈，所以才导致单身到现在。呃，然后呢，你自己具备哪些优点啊？我自己啊，有车有房。I'm kind of old for like a a marriage, but uh, so that's why I encourage myself here, uh, to to be here and. Uh, try to find my soulmate. In other countries, when people look at the situation in China, they say uh, a lot of the women want these really big you know, bride prices. Yeah, have you had any uh, bad experiences with that? Like two years ago, before I before I went to Shanghai, I, I dated a girl, and we we loved we loved each other, and we were we were thinking about getting married. 
at that time. But uh, since she she's she's from like the north uh, east China. Uh, in those area, the, the bride price is quite high, like uh, roughly two hundred thousand RMB, which is a really good, quite high. Yeah, quite high. So we we discussed about that and we debated, uh, but finally she didn't give up this bride price, so we broke up. For me, I think marriage is about like you truly love this person. You you want like. No matter what, you want to like experience the happiness, experience the suffer with with her, but not not only ask for money. So I think uh, for younger generation like me, I, I I don't like bride price to be honest. But to to respect the Chinese traditional culture, I think to give some sort of like money is okay. Like for, for example, like sixty thousand or eighty thousand. Yeah, like a gesture. Yeah, 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 something like that. Friendly today, I brought Lucky so that she'll feel reassured that I don't have anybody chasing me. But actually, that hasn't happened at all. It's more the opposite. Have you had a good time down here? I think that I want to come again. You don't want to come again? Why not? Why? Why? Will, why I will come again? At this point, then, I just want to share a couple of thoughts with you. I suppose the first one is I have been taken aback by the number of people here. It was a lot busier than I was expecting. Mm. Um, another one would be that a lot of the people we've, we've met really don't have that high expectations. The, the people we have interviewed down here, they're just looking for somebody they can get on with quite well. So I think a lot of those instances we see on the internet and some of those you know, channels uh, talking about China every day. And I suppose you could say they're a little bit over dramatic. But uh, for now, from here in this beautiful park in downtown Jiafeng Bay, Chongqing, thank you for joining me and I will catch you again soon, okay? So, see you again.